Okay, I'm going to continue working on his face for just a few minutes. I'm getting a late start today because I was dealing with Foundry and the client who's getting a bronze. I was going to go this week to pick up that bronze, but it looks like I'll be going Monday instead. So, just letting you know. I'll be here all week. Time to play with some play. Clay just doesn't want to stick. Oh, I've lost it. Such a tiny piece of clay, it's uh, hard to see it. Okay, I'm going to redo the horns on the headdress. I'll put up a picture of a headdress that I'm thinking of. And it shows the horns a lot thinner and a lot higher up on the headdress. So I'm going to do that. I'm using Super Sculpty this time for my horns. And uh, it's only because it holds its shape better. You can see how much thinner those horns are and how much higher they are up on the uh, headdress. And it matches a video that I took of uh, Michael Badhand back in 1991 uh, in a model suit. And uh, he was wearing a buffalo headdress. And uh, I'm just matching those horns. And I, it also matches quite a few other photographs. I've seen a buffalo headdresses. Right side. Thank you. 
Okay, this is something that I do whenever I use a foreign clay, not necessarily the clay that I use normally. I uh, went to a hardware store and got my clay matched, the color of the clay matched, so that I could make it less questions asked as to what is that material, sir? If uh, they don't ask a question, they're not distracted. And uh, I like to keep it looking just like the clay, so I had some paint made up to match the color of my clay. And uh, it just makes everything simpler. The less questions you have about what materials you use, the better. It looks better in the photographs when you take pictures of the final clay. Now there's one headdress that I saw that had a tail of the buffalo on the back of the uh, headdress. I like that feature. I'm going to put it on this one. Now I'll show you a picture of it here so that you know what it looks like. All right, I got my Super Sculpty softening up underneath my lamp. It's going to take a few minutes because it's hard. And uh, as soon as it gets soft enough for me, for me to work with, I'm going to make a few feathers. And this is the size of feathers I'm going to be doing. And I've got to make this Super Sculpty be the same size. I can't make it too thin, but I got to make it thin enough that uh, it looks like a feather. I'm doing seven feathers for his headdress, and I'm making it like the headdress that Michael Terry was wearing when he was riding by me in a uh, model shoot back in 2000 or 1991. Again, like I've done before, I've made these feathers out of Super Sculpty. And that's because, like I've said before, it gets a lot stiffer than the uh, clay that I use, which is a J-Mac plastiline clay. What I'm doing is I'm straightening out the uh, armature wire for each one of the uh, feathers. Got to have an armature in it. Clay is may get stiff but it's still not strong enough to hold its shape this thin. Okay. Now I heat the wire up under this flame or in this flame and then I just press it down into the uh, clay. OK, 
Okay, I'm just finishing up each one of these feathers with the uh, bottom part of the uh, quill that uh, is wrapped with trade cloth. Okay, this is the last thing I'm going to do today. I'm going to paint these feathers. I'm not sure I like this at all. I think it might be too much. But I'm going to go ahead and put the paint on it and come back tomorrow. See how I feel. I'll probably settle for a fewer feathers and a different setup as far as the feathers go. But I want to try this out before I make that decision. All right, that's the way it looks now. It's accurate. I'm just not sure I like it. Yeah, like I said, I'll have to come back tomorrow with fresh eyes and see what I think. All right, everybody, good night. See you tomorrow. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.